Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Zemox channel. Today, I'm gonna be answering the questions that I asked you to ask last week. <laughs> so today, I collect a total of 22 questions, and then I'm gonna be answering them. And um, enjoy. <laughs> Before we start this video, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. I actually spend a long time to make all the videos, including my reviews. So if you like my videos, if you like any of my reviews, just subscribe to me. Thank you. Let's start answering some questions now. All right, first question: Top 10 Gunplay video of Master Grades. I didn't even have 10 Master Grade in my house now. Well, I do actually, but I haven't built 10 of them because I just calculated my playlist and there were seven videos of the Master Grade reviews, excluding the unboxing. So technically, I don't even have 10 Master Grade being built. So how am I gonna suggest this? So sorry, I cannot suggest any of it. So this is the second one. Wow. Wow. How old are you? 19. The next one. Bop, 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 bop. Next go to 10K subscription. Okay, so first of all, I'm not Vietnamese. I translated this sentence and you said that I am the proudest people in Vietnamese or something like that. I don't exactly know the translation. It's something like uh, proud of you, blah, blah, blah. First of all, I'm not Vietnamese. I actually born in Hong Kong and then when I was like a little kid, I came to Australia. This is who I am. 10K subscription is still a very far away goal for myself. So yes, thank you for the support, but I doubt that I will reach 10K for the next three years. What's the best and worst among your collection? Best one, I'll just say like this, infinite justice, worst, debatable. So first we'll have the RG Strike on them or the RG Zaku, depend on which one you hate more because honestly, those two RG were my worst collection. Yeah, finally, 1000 sub. Can you make more recommendation gambler? I just made one on Tuesday and yes, I will be making more, but the problem is I cannot make anything related to Master Grade because Let's be honest, I don't even have 10 of them now, so how am I supposed to make a recommendation list? Hey bro, congrats on one case up. I think most of us won't mind them as if it will help you out. Please don't give up, stay strong slowly, but surely I will reach 10 cases up. Good luck. Thanks. Do you agree that Turn A Gundam is the strongest Gundam? Well, yes, because technically, for the official setting, Turn A Gundam can wipe out the whole Earth if it turned on the Moonlight Butterfly. So technically, Turn A Gundam is the strongest because the power level of this Gundam is basically over the roof. Are you gonna play some games on this channel or maybe do some vlog or Vine? People still use Vine? That app, I thought it dead like 10 years ago. Oh my God, people still use Vine? Okay, vlog. Well, vlog, I will consider making them, but actually my daily routine is really boring. I woke up, I brush my teeth, I go to the bathroom, I come back, and then I start shooting unboxing, build the gunpla, and then penaline it, finish it, mat coat it, and then put it on the table and ready for the review. My daily routine is really boring for you, so if you want to watch it, I'm fine with it, but I'm just telling you that my daily routine is really boring. <laughs> Are you gonna play some games on this channel? Yes, I actually consider about it, but right now I don't have a PS4 and I don't have anything else like a Switch or anything like that. The games that I would like to play is actually the Maxi Boost on, the Gundam Extreme versus Maxi Boost on. That will be the game that I want to play. And also the Cross Race, the SDG Generation Cross Race. That will be the one that I want as well. But I mean, if you want to watch me playing a game, it's not possible because at the beginner beginner review, I mentioned that I have a PSP and on my PSP, I have the old games like the Gundam versus Gundam Next Plus or the SDG Generation. Is it SDG Generation? Yes. And both of them, they were like a really old game. And if you want me, if you want to watch me play old games, it's fine. But I don't know how to record on PSP. Can you do a collection tour? Sure, buddy. I can do it right now. Is you're not the only one that's asking for it. On my Earth Free review, I think another audience asked for this. So it's time for me to do one. Let's go. Okay, buddy, this is the collection tour that you've been asking for. So this is basically my 
room, my space to store the Gomplas. You can see that all my Gomplas that have been reviewed is here. It's very hard to see because I have to, you know, put them all together and looking at the side right here is basically like this and at the top of the shelf right here you will see more you can see Infinite Justice right here the mask jacket that I revealed and then you know Shenlong Gundam Liaoya unit I finished the wall aside decals you can take a look at it as well and then this one right here is the Figina Gina and then this back one right here is the Transient Gundam Place here and then we got the Ao Jaja right here. Now moving to the other side, you can see another collection as well. You can see, you know, very messy of it. Um, let's just say that, let's just say it like this. Comment down below and show me how many of it can you recognize it. And then, you know, down here, we got another as well. Some of the Gaopla, I didn't make a review for it because I built it before I started the channel. And then, you know, coming down again, uh, we got another one right here is the oh yeah you can see that narrative Gundam extra repair free gym sniper 2 second V and then power rider at the back and then down here uh, it's pretty hard for you to see though actually so um, this one right here is my old gun plus most of them I didn't make a review for it you will see like the double full full saber you can see the talk is free the unicorn um, those will be the one that I made a review and then the other side right here, you already saw it. And this one down here, you can see the Destiny that I did a long time ago, the H2 Magnum SV. You can see the ground type Gundam right here. And then down at the other side right here, oh, actually next level, sorry. Next level right here, we got the Cubelate at the back. And then we got the Togis 2. We got the Leo, the Sakumai layer. And then the Delta Gundam. And then you can see the Get a Gugu Jenga and also the Johnny Ryder and RG Saku. And then at the bottom floor right here, you can see the Wing Gundam Zero, the RG Sazabi, Hamrami Suban, the Saku Cannon Test Type, and then the Gundam The End right here. And then the back one right there is the M91. And then we got the Extra Dark Matter, XGCE Destiny Gundam High Name version. And that's pretty much it. And looking at the up top right here, these right here were the ones that ran out of space. You can see that Jim Intercept Custom, the Shinanju RG, you see it, I still put the broken face on. This is the set to Buy Alan Custom, new Gundam Fiend Funnel Effect set. We got the Zabanya, Gundam Zabanya, and also the Cubelay Mark II Edupi Pulu version. And these right here were the leftover parts of the Hyakushiki Crash. I don't want to throw them away because I felt like it's just throwing away one knee. So if any one of you want to customize a Master Grade and you're looking for the leftover parts of the Hyakushiki Crash, you can ask me and I can sell it to you. I'm serious. At the other side right here, I got some of it that is not open yet. So such as the Gaze R, Gaze L that I buy before. And then I got the Goof Mobility Demonstrator, same color version. We got the RX70 X3 2.0. I also got the Zaku 2 F set. At the other side right here, I got the Katoki version Sazabi. Haven't moved it any of yet. And then I got the Zendra Custom and the Swartz version. Haven't built yet. And then I got the Zaku slash Zaku Ventum. And then I got the... Oh, this one right here is from the Bai sponsor video. The TR6, uh, whatever that calls. And then down here, you can see that, whoops. Down here that, you can see that uh, I got some Providence, F91, and Testament, Freedom, and then Go Amatsu, the Power Rider Space Type, the Amatsu Hana, and also the Graham Flag Custom and the Lightning Gundam. And then up at the top right here is the Robo Damashi. This box right here is the Dragon Momoko. Uh, Astray Out Frame D. Spoiler alert, this one right here is the Heavy Arms Custom EW, the NS Force version. And then this one right here, I got the Mass 4 unit coming up. Yes, it's a late review, but I don't care, okay? I ran out of space, so some of the gunplay will be on my table. For example, the RG Strike right here. You see that I, I don't even care about it. It just cannot stand by itself. We got the Earth 3, the V2, the TR6 Hazel 2. Build Gamma Gundam right here, and then at the other side of the table, you can see right here Astray 
blue frame d my first ever master grade review and at the back of the computer you can see the blast impulse master grade and then here is my venice rinashkita the last week review in here you will see the ashtray nor I completed every single water side decal. I'm just getting the action based one so it can fight the Astray Blue Frame D. And that's pretty much everything that I got. Hi, I'm planning to get a PG. Which would you suggest? X Share or Red Frame Kai? I don't play perfect grade, but I can suggest you one because based on the video that I watched, probably X Share. X Share is better. Dang, where was I when this video was uploaded? You're watching a big YouTuber, maybe. What was your most expensive goblet that you ever bought? Why did you buy it and how do you feel about it? If you can go back in time, do you still think that you will buy it again? Cheers for 1k sub. Oh, thanks for the cheers, bro. But actually, the most expensive goblet that I ever bought, believe it or not, is actually the Sword Impulse, Blast Impulse, and also the Crossbone Gundam X3. Those three right there, I bought it for overpriced. So for the sword impulse or the blast impulse, the cheapest that you can find is around 170 to 180 XKD. But back in the days, I didn't know how to buy premium and I, and I spent and the whole bill. So combining the sword, blast impulse, and then the crossbone Gundam X3, the whole bill was around 700 to 800 dollars xkd yes back in the days i don't know how to buy premium event that and i just spent a lot of spent a lot of, of wasted money on that premium event that. if you ask me again do i want to buy the sword blast or the crossbow gun x3 no i don't want to buy it again i'd rather to spend that 700 dollars on something else dude congrats for 1k subs what tools you use to build gambler do you have a workstation specifically for gambler my table is my workspace I would just put it like that. What tools though? Um, this one right here is for putting on the stickers. Uh, this one right here is to send the parts. Uh, and then I got a very standard nipper. And I got a water side decal transferring clip. Mark Settler. Glue. Super smooth clear. X20 finish for wiping the panel line. Uh, the panel line liquid is really dirty. I'm sorry, I, I kind of spill it. And then lastly, this one right here, I don't use it very frequently, it's the Mark Softer because I usually use the one with the glue, which is the blue cap. Keep up the reviews. I love your take on model kit reviews. Question, what has been your personal favorite kit from each line? SD, XG, RG, MG, and PG. I don't play SD. For the XG, right now my favorite will be the Infinite Justice Gundam and then for the RG, uh, my favorite, uh, uh, New Gundam, New Gundam. MG, I don't play a lot of MG, oh actually I don't even build a lot of MG yet so I don't choose them. PG, I don't play perfect grade right? so skip. Well I watched your video because I'm a cheap person. I watch review freely to avoid buying a bad kit. I expect my kit to hold up and not to break when I play with them since I'm buying original Bandai, not bootleg. My advice is invest in better lighting and camera stand. Make sure your shot is steady and with good angle. Your current camera quality is already quite nice. No need to invest in camera since it's more expensive. And get better mic too. China condenser or lapilla. Is that how you pronounce it? Lapilla? Um, my is damn cheap but works great. Do you think this mic looks good though? Uh, in case you don't know, I'm wearing a mic right now. Can you can you see it? Can can you see it? It's, it's right here. Can you see it? So thank you for your advice and uh, for the camera stand though. Do you know there's a, like a better stand for like phone cameras? Because actually I'm shooting with my iPhone XR now that I got around like two years, two years ago. As you mentioned, Minecraft gaming. Have you played any other Gundam games, Side Story, Gundam Breakers, etc? So if so, which one is your favorite? What should you do for 1000? Hmm, commission a Ryzen 1 to 100 e e e nail. Is, is that how you pronounce it? Okay, okay, maybe a 2000. I don't even know what that Ryzen kit is. I, I never heard of the name, I'm sorry. But for the gaming though, I just mentioned that I played the Gundam vs Gundam Mix Plus. And then I play the Gundam Muso, Muso 2, Muso 3, and then also the SDG generation as well. Which one is my favorite? 
Gundam was all free and then the Gundam vs Gundam Next Plus, that would be my favorite. Keep it up and don't give up. Remember keep working on those keywords to get more views. Thank you buddy, I will. Congrats again, are you going to do an SD kit review someday? And are you having fun with these, making these videos? What is your favorite XG? No, I'm not making SD kits because I just don't like that really small size SD kits. And yes, I'm having fun of making videos, but what you don't know is sometime when I was making a review and you know, I have to retake a single shot for a lot, a lot of times and then I just get really pissed. Like for example, for that, which video is it? The Shandong Gundam review. Oh, I was talking about the Liaoya unit and then also the legs part. I retake that part for around 12 times and then I get so mad and I don't even want to make it anymore. So sometimes, let's just say it like this, if I speak like a little bit better, then I won't be very stressful. But if I have to retake a lot of times, then of course it's gonna suck the fun out of it. Do you get what I mean? Like I still enjoy making videos. I just don't like to retake a lot. Make a patron. I will give some money. Um, yeah, sure buddy, I can make one. But what am I supposed to post on it? Because patron, you know, people pay is giving you money to kind of like subscribe to you. I don't know how Patreon works. If, if anything that's wrong, please tell me down in the comments. Um, what am I supposed to post on it if I really have to make a patron? What am I supposed to post? Are you single? Maybe you can build gameplay with your boy or girlfriend. I do have a girlfriend actually, but she don't want to show on screen. So I respect her thoughts. Where can I buy cheap Gampla? Three places actually. Facebook Market, Yahoo Auction, Carousel. Any Gampla game that you play, there's no Gampla game, but Gundam game, Gundam vs Gundam Next Plus, Musou, blah blah blah. I just mentioned this so many times, I don't want to repeat again. Can you introduce some traditional food that you like? Uh, I'll just put it on the screen now. Is there a certain Gampla you really want to have, but you don't have enough money to buy them yet? Oh, it's a tough question, like... Mm. One eternity later. Well, I do actually, I thought about it. Gundam F90 and A to Z equipment. So F90 because it have a equipment from A to Z. So... Am I supposed to buy 26 Gundam F90? Oh my god. Yes, I pretty want that because, you know, showing because you know, one F90 is not gonna be enough for all those equipment, so I want 26 of them. What's your top 10 MG kits? Dude, I don't even have 10 Master Grade reviews. Why is everybody asking me this? Also, what's your top 10 favorite Gundam design? Um, can I just list it out 10 instead of just ranking them? So 10 of them will be the Ultron Gundam and the Swartz version, Death Side Hell and the Swartz version, the Heavy Arms Custom and the Swartz version, Aegis, Destiny, and then, um, Gundam G06, the Crossbow, Impulse, H2 Magnum or the Dark Hound, and then lastly will be the Gundam Venice Liberta. Top 10 Gundam protagonists. I don't want to rank them specifically, sorry, because it's really arguable. If I talk about, if I said it like Cessna is going to be the best pilot, everybody is going to come and then tell me that Yamato G6 is the best. Well, actually, for the Gundam protagonists, I don't have like a top 10 list because I never consider making them as well because it's really arguable. Like, if you want me to share like my top 10 favorite Gundam protagonists, I can just briefly talk about it. So how about I would just answer you like my top 10 favorite Gundam protagonists because I like the antagonists better. I usually don't really like the protagonists unless they have like their, their specific styles or like they have their own unique charm. I usually like the antagonist. So 10 of my favorite Gundam protagonists will be like two of them is from the Crossbone series is the Tobia. Tobia, the pilot of the X3. And then pilot of the X1, which uh, which is a King Kendo Nau Amurole, because his fighting style, man, his fighting style is just so good. Then Setsuna, Hiro Yui, that's five now. Domon Kashu, Lo Gui from the Astray, Go Raki from the Stardust Memory, Bernard Wiseman, Bernard Wiseman from the uh, War in the Pocket, and also Fawn Spark from the Double O Side Story. Wow, Fawn Spark is like, he's so crazy, man. It's just because he's so crazy, that's why I like him. Last question, when's your birthday? Oh, well, my birthday is 
not today. It's not today, okay? 31st of July, the last day of July, will be my birthday. All right, I answer every single one of them. I hope you guys like this Q&A video. Thank you guys for all the support. And once again, I don't know how to thank you on words. So I will just end the video right here. Thank you guys for all your support and thank you guys for all your questions right here. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video like this video. And also, if you want, you can also comment down below for another question that I will answer you directly in the comments. I will end the video right here today. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.